All right, guys, welcome back. NFT Shorts again, the home of NFTs and cryptos. We're going to dive in today and talk about NFTs and the future of gaming, just real estate, real world applications, fashion, and so much more, guys. Look, no matter what happens, even when the markets are low and when things seem kind of bleak, I could say, it still pays to be early. I think we all know this, right? It still pays to be here, be present on a daily basis to really assess the markets and understand what's happening. No matter where you look, though, big brands are still finding ways to capitalize off of unassuming people like you and myself. But we are smart enough to know that we have to keep our fingers on the pulse. So but it's the people, unfortunately, who watch the news and really just adore these big faces, these big names like this dude that's in trial today or these days. Man, like I said in the last video, guys, stop watching the, the clown show stop watching the cryptocurrency clown show it doesn't make sense it's a losing game for you and for myself to do that keep your finger on the pulse and see what's happening see where the money's going and see why the money is going where it's going and we think and i think we know the answer it's going where we think it's going and it's going into the places that we know for sure by these major brands into the places that we know and we can clearly see it's going for good reasons we know why it's going there it's because we know that the technology is good we know that there's a real use case for a lot of these assets, okay? So we're talking about real estate transactions and NFTs. Of course, we know, a lot of us know that this is not necessarily new, but it is definitely news coming out in different platforms. And more and more, we're going to see how NFTs and cryptos, blockchain technologies, distributed ledger technologies are going to assist us doing uh, with doing everyday simple text, simple, simple things, you know? I was speaking with my sister the other day and just banking issues, trying to transfer and the bank is closed or the, the uptime on the app is down, it's, it's, it's low, maybe 97% or some, whatever the numbers are. You know, this is why we transact on chain because Nobody can really tell you who to send to and, and when to send and why and when and why not to send or adding limits to what you can transact with. But the bank sure can, right? You don't own your private keys at the bank. You don't own the money that you put in your bank. As you know, it's not yours. Once you put it there, you you got access to it. And they're granting you access with your four digit or six or eight or however many digit pin code pin numbers. Ooh, like that's cool, but ultimately it's not yours. You don't have the private keys to that account and there's really not much you can do without getting direct assistance from a teller or some type of customer service agent right so you know people all around the world are having issues with nfts and 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 uh the sustainability of it they bought at the top is really the point right and that doesn't mean that you you know you can't buy an nft project and get rugged because we've all seen <laughs> rug pulls in the nft game I mean, I've said this a million times. I've seen more rug pulls on Cardano than I've seen at any type of like furniture store. Seriously. I don't know why Cardano has so many rug pulls. And I'm not saying that Ethereum and other networks don't, but my goodness, I've seen a lot of rug pulls on Cardano and it's shameful. It's always citing mental health. Like we don't all have mental health concerns, right? But right now, of course, we know that Solana has been pumping and a lot of people have been talking about it and, and, and uh, even like this kind of fake news about Solana being better than Ethereum. Like, yeah, sure, it may be faster, it may have higher throughput and, and some other qualities, but it is also more centralized. But maybe, just maybe, that's exactly why Solana is better than Ethereum. Maybe that's why Ethereum is now proof of stake so that JP Morgan and whoever else is running the show over there can really just control what you're doing. They've already got you by the ears and the nose and your tongue with your MetaMask wallet. Jeez, man, they got your IP address. They know where you live. <laughs> okay, but these collections on Solana, this new collections, these ridiculous collections that keep coming out for all you DGENs out there, you know, people love them. They keep gobbling them up. And I know how Solana goes with these NFTs, man. They they can fly. So NFTs are still alive. I wouldn't doubt them. I wouldn't sleep because a lot of people are sleeping on the markets in general. I already said this about Bitcoin ordinals and how if you were here on the 15th of December, 2022, you would have been present with your hand raised up, you know, to say, hey, I'm ready for these ordinals. Drop these in my wallet. You would have been back for BRC20s. You would have been here for the runes. But no. 
unfortunately a lot of us are just watching the news we're watching the news this is some good news though i like this one here taipei 101 this place is actually amazing i don't know if you guys have ever been there the first time i ever saw taipei 101 like face to face i was just like whoa this this wow like this place looks amazing but here you go right digital art universe at taipei 101 taiwan is very crypto friendly and a lot of the crypto bros and crypto gals and such are coming from taiwan man and they understand the freedom the flexibility they've already had so many political issues in this world with their neighbor uh, china and they oftentimes just want that flexibility and freedom so i do respect people out here uh, in taiwan doing their thing I, I definitely would like to go back and check the place out again see how it goes but this time total degen lifestyle uh just total web3 crypto blockchain lifestyle going on if i ever touch base in the t-dub again so do check that out right we've all seen nft grifters out here you know we got coffee industry fundraising funding research with nft sales to me what that smells is what that smells like is you pay me to create something fantastic done what do you get in return probably nothing i don't know these people here i'm not saying that they are grifters but my goodness how many nft collections have you been a part of that simply just turned out to be fundraisers for their endeavors so to me i don't want to hear about fundraisers from nfts oh like this is such a good thing yeah you bought into an nft and it raised funds so what like what is the retail value the, the aftermarket value of those nfts that you bought to fund some research for you <laughs> sorry man I just guys i'm very sorry to say but we're just not all gonna make it okay <laughs> we're just we can't all win we're not all programmed to win some of us will be fuel for others endeavors <laughs> that's just this is how it goes man we can't all win right um i do love the fact though that with music nfts things are slowly picking up you got other people grifting out here making nfts and the floor price just plummets i don't want to buy your music nft just to say i bought it just to say i'm early give me some real value okay and i like the idea of something being fan first and we'll see you know we'll hold them to it we'll see how it goes but I'm not interested in just buying someone's NFT just because, oh, this is a big name artist and they've got an NFT collection. So what? Like, who cares? Like, it doesn't mean anything. You have an album. doesn't mean I need to listen to it. You got a shirt. Who cares? It doesn't mean it's comfortable. You got your name and scrawled on, on a wall or scrawled, like inscribed in, in some type of uh, cell phone case. Doesn't mean that my phone's going to be more protected, does it? So I'm... I don't agree with this you can't over rely on anything that's just available and is is the is the standard or the norm don't rely on your comfortable shoes you know don't rely on that car that you have on the road because there you you might eventually start to get hovercrafts or start to fly or something like what like no right now web 3 is it web 2 is just not it's just not the way to go going forward as you could see by your bank being closed or as you could see by I don't know like having to wait in the queue for some service that's just like seriously no get this thing done on chain is just simply what it's going to be but the music industry to me is perfect to be in the web3 space I, I think it's absolutely perfection for web3 because people just like with with trading card games and the likes video games and such we want our assets we bought them we control them i don't want the game's server to go down and suddenly everything that i've earned is gone I've had that happen to me too many times guys drop a comment in drop a drop a two in the comments if you have ever played a game and the servers went down and you have nothing to show for it seriously so to me web3 is definitely the perfect place for music nfts and games and so much more i, I wouldn't sleep on that and speaking of which of course trading card games right i don't think people caught the memo on trading card games when we talk about champions of otherworldly magic again we talk about champions of otherworldly magic back here or champions tcg or even synergy of sarah definitely for those of us of those of us those of you who've been supporting the channel you definitely saw me speaking about synergy of sarah quite a while back right here i made a couple of videos about them synergy of sarah and i know a lot of uh, some definitely for sure some of my supporters um have been into synergy of sarah and grabbed themselves some cards well guys check it out the game is is available and i definitely make some more content on that but i did my work you know i did my piece in showing you guys the next step 
in gaming. I talked to you guys about things like Altura. So we know the Alu token is, that thing is incredible and it has great potential. A lot of us made some crazy, ridiculous gains uh, in the last, you know, last few years. So I wouldn't sleep on that, right? But like the trading cards market is gonna boost with prospects like these, these big brands. There are so many other brands that they're not talking about. I just showed you two, right? Digital games, physical cards, the reason why TCGs or trading card games are so good on chain is because they are the next best thing to a physical trading card because you can actually verify the ownership of this asset. If I have a card game and you have a card game or cards for a card game and we meet together face to face at a coffee shop, let's say your local Starbucks or something, Tim Hortons for those of you in Canada, you guys know that we could simply make our own rules with these games because we have the physical cards but when you play a game on steam or let's say sony playstation or something that your play experience is contingent upon sony or whatever company it is and their servers being live but physical cards you can play whatever game you want you can make your own ban lists you know with with on card trading get card games especially ones that are bitcoin ordinals that do not rely on decentralized third-party storage ones that are inscribed directly on bitcoin now you have your own trading card games you can make your own trading card games with any of the assets on bitcoin so you can make your own rules as a, as a matter of fact like i said in games like champions of otherworldly magic so i think there's just too many incredible opportunities right now and of course as you look forward right now we've got physical items in walmart you can go and buy these physical physical plushies and of course the digital assets are going to boost they're going to they're going to bump because people are just like wow like there's real world adoption now we've got more branding going on here more marketing uh, with these brands more opportunities to get more eyes guys again i said it already we're not early okay sorry like we're literally just simply not early but what we can do is position ourselves by doing good research Right, so this video right here, I talked about, it's like buying Matic at one cent. It's fading, you guys are just fading it. People are just fading the number, fading it. It's completely fine to me. Trust me, when I say I don't really mind, it really doesn't really matter because I'm doing this for the people who actually care, who actually want something sustainable. And that is typically something that comes by way of research, right? So you be early, don't watch the herd, right? If you're buying pudgy penguins now because you saw it in Walmart, I'm sorry, but you're just not gonna win. Like you, you should have been on Pudgy Penguins a long, 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 long time ago. Long time ago. And if you didn't get into Pudgy Penguins super early and you saw this news and you want to FOMO in, hold your dollars. Find the next trend. More Mr. Zuck and Meta in the metaverse with photorealistic avatars. Guys, again, we're not early. They're bringing in the masses. And it's funny how, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg is hated by so many people. I personally think his platforms are the worst platforms of all. I have not tried Threads, don't have interest, and I may try. You guys let me know if you guys want us to go to Threads, I'll check it out. But you think about, uh, you think about, what's it, WhatsApp, terrible app. You think about Facebook, terrible app. You think about Instagram, terrible app. These are terrible apps. Use the apps, they're terrible, in my opinion. They're just terrible. Like, there's no privacy in those apps. It's just terrible. I'm sorry, the experience that I've had using his apps over the years, just... <laughs> I just can't get with it, you know, but these guys, th these, these legal actions being taken against these, these, uh, these collections and all these different, these people these days, I can't watch this stuff. These are, these are distractions. I don't care. It's one collection, one set of people, these pseudonymous people, they don't owe me anything. I don't owe them a single thing, but I do love the fact that Starbucks and their Odyssey rewards are going out. Shout out to the Starbucks lovers out there who think and believe that Starbucks has the best coffee. I know here in, Tim, in Canada, it's Tim Hortons coffee. So Tim's versus Starbucks. You guys, if you're a Canadian, drop a comment below and let me know. Is it Tim's or is it, or is it the Bucks? You let me know. But I, you know, as a collector of NFTs, gosh, man, you should be caring about Starbucks NFTs. My goodness. Absolutely, right? So blockchain gaming is said to apparently go between 800 and, and 700 and 800 billion um the, the market will be estimated to be that like 800 to 700 800 million billion pardon me 7 to 800 billion by 2032 that's not this bull run that has already started on the 15th of december 2022 i know i said it a million times the bull run started on september sorry december 15th 
2022. The bull run started right here. Tell me it didn't. Please tell me the bull run did not start. The Bitcoin bull run started, I keep saying September, December 15th, 2022, when you could, when the Bitcoin ordinals inscriptions protocol went live to the public and was started to be marketed. Okay. So people can't really tell me that, you know, the gaming, uh, blockchain gaming market can't go to 800 billion, 700 billion. Of course it will, because we know that NFTs have so much more use cases, so much more value. I dare I say everybody knows that. Well, the ones that know that are typically being kind of quiet because they're getting themselves into position. So I'd be watching the blockchain gaming market closely. This is why I make content about blockchain games. Let's talk about fashion, though, okay? So Diesel, um, Adidas, Nike, and all those other, other brands are continually diving into Web3, bringing their trailblazers their customers into web3 and blockchains cryptos nfts whatever with fashion right fashion is is, a, is fashion and art those are great ways to decouple yourselves from the traditional markets right it's a great way to store value so you better believe that i'll be watching this diesel collection i want to grab some of these diesel watches okay i want to grab some because i may not wear them i may not ever open those boxes but my gosh that to me is a store of value right adidas again just more more coll collaborations for nfts luxury nfts digital you know assets where you've got the physical device or the physical piece accompanied by something digital that gives you access to some web3 or uh on-chain experience while people say it's a scam these big companies are diving in deeper and deeper of course nike or nike's back for more air force ones you know they've got other platform other other um creative tools that you guys have seen in the past allowing you to create your own designs and things like that why wouldn't nike be at the forefront they've got a whole team probably at least 100 or 200 people working doing research trying to find out the best trends and marketing strategies to make sure that they appear to be first in this quote unquote web three space. They're not early either, but they're sure they sure have the budget to make it appear as though they are. Okay. So even down to like the hiring process is going to be more AI based, right? Go to LinkedIn and you'll see some of these applications already are, are talking about whether you want to opt in or opt out of getting your your application or your resume your cv reviewed by ai i've seen it already it's already happening so ai is of course a narrative and ai means nothing unless it's on chain if you guys don't know we're going to see exactly that in the future don't sleep paypal nft marketplace what did you think they've already got a stable coin they're already talking about this sta paypal stable coin Okay, so why wouldn't they get into NFTs and marketplaces? They got people transacting on their platform all the time. I don't have the statistics to prove it, the, the exact numbers, but you know for sure they see copious amounts of US dollars and a high volume of transactions in US dollars on their platform. So why wouldn't they create a marketplace, a place for you to, for them to grab a little bit more of your extra cash? while you before you withdraw to your bank account right guys don't sleep on the future watch these projects as you see things like link there's nothing to talk about when it comes to link other than pretty much sideways and up sideways and up that's just what i see link for now anyway and bitcoin just in general the, the bull market's on we may see this area here 21 20 ish k i uh, dare i say i hope because that's another buying opportunity but from there guys i'm sorry man dare i say the moon the moon guys follow me over on x again nft shorts the home of nfts and cryptos guys all the best to you guys blockchain freedom let's do it together as i always say let's win together guys all right until next time man take it easy